Tim Moore here today, and as you can tell, I got my uh, protection on. I got my glasses. I got my hat, my nasty hat. I got my respirator and got gloves on. That means I'm going to be doing some work with some stronger soaps and chemicals. Today we're doing a roof cleaning. So, oh, it's strong up here. I got a few minutes before I have to put this back on so I can breathe and not breathe in the fumes. So anyway, what we're doing is we're killing the blue-green algae that sits on this uh, roof. And as you can tell from a distance, it starts on the bottom and looks like it works its way up in like streaks. These are what we, most of people call black streaks on roofs. So we've got our soft bar set up. We're at 60 PSI. Got my sprayer. Just like that, I got my ground guy down there. He's wetting everything down because we're using a stronger mix. We want to make sure we don't kill any plants. So anyway, join me as you should watch me spray this from the ground or from the gutter line without any pressure. This is how you properly do roof cleaning. You don't get a surface screen cleaner on your roof. You don't get a pressure washer on your roof. 60, 100 PSI just to get from the ground of this up. This has to have a dedicated pump. You cannot downstream or X-Jet enough strength to do this. This has to be with a dedicated pump or some kind of a booster system. So that's what we have, so that's what we use. Well, join me as we do some roof cleaning. Tim Moore, TLC. Look at that cascade down, ever slow, gently. Now let's tap the top up there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. It's nice and calm. Hit that ridge line. Bring that soap down. Kill that blue green algae. Come on. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Make sure I got that real good. Now we're going to do this section. See if I can do it. Ah, wind cat caught up. Picked up for just a second. So while the wind's calming down, I'm going to do over here. Oh yeah, you can hear that wind. Oh yeah, you can hear that wind. Just picked up. See the trees rustling. So I'll, it's been off and on. The gusts are very short, so I'm going to wait a few seconds. And as soon as the gusts slow down, I'm going to fit, uh, hit that ridge line and bring it down. And we're going to get this all taken care of. Now, what am I looking for? You see how that soap is kind of a brownish color and you see that drip right 
there see how it's kind of brown that is the dirt and the blue green algae die dead rinsing off this roof already this is what i'm looking for i'm looking for this color coming down off the roof when i do when that's that i know i got the, the strength right and i know it's gonna take care of all the streaks and they won't come back for a long time and here you go this has actually already been sprayed i finished spraying it the wind died down so i hit it just as quickly as i could before the next breeze came to hit that very very top peak of the roof and to bring it down we brought the solution from the very top all the way down to the gutter line and as you can see it's filling up the gutter it's going to gas off and turn back to inert ingredient it's going to have at least some soap and some salt on the roof that when we get a nice rain which luckily is coming up in the next couple of days so i don't have to worry as much about rinsing it because the nature will rinse it for me because we're having rain tonight or today after tomorrow something like that so it's not going to sit up here too long it's going to rinse off and it's going to look like brand new again this is a whole lot cheaper than a replacement uh, we just did this one side so they'll get a warranty on the one side anything that we sprayed we warranty 10 more tlc pressure washing roof cleaning at its finest